Okay. Queens, can you do the three mantra? Yeah. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Uvasayanam. Namo Uvasayanam. Namo Loe Savasahunam. Namo Loe Savasahunam. Eso Panchanamukaram. Shabba Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Okay, everybody. Even we have uh, uh, honor of having Yashvi and Mok today, Deepakaranji. Mm. Honor of having Yashvi and Mok today, Deepakaranji. Mm. Okay, that is uh, who knows the prayer? I think Hetsi knows the prayer, right? I said Hetsi? it last time. Though. I'm sorry? I said it last time. So, Kush, do you know in English? Uh, which one? Daily prayer. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You can do it again. Or you forgot. No, I remember it. But no, I can say it. Yeah, I did it last time. That's okay. You can do it every time. Push, Is it a problem? Push, push, remem push remembers. Push remembers. Yeah, yeah. Push memorizes. I got, no, but let's see. Is it a problem doing it again? No. Then why are you saying you did it last time? I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember oh, everything. Okay. I know what's happening in London also. My eyes are there. So be careful. Okay, Kush. Yeah. Oh, Dada Bhagwan, please give me infinite inner strength such that I will never compromise on health so that my body as an instrument will always be helpful to me in accomplishing my life goal of studies and satsang. I will remain absolutely sincere in studies. I will always stay away from bad company and bad habits. Whatever happens, Please shower your divine grace and blessings such that I never ever miss my satsang. May I use my mind, speech, body, instrument, and my soul. That is all my resources to oblige others, which is the best religion. I will always remain sincere, moral, and pure in mind, speech, and body in all my dealings with self and everyone in life so that I become man of personality, poor, excellent, exactly as Dada Bhagwan. Jai Satchidanand. Thank you, Kush. Uh, anybody? Uh, Yashvi, do you do the prayer? Do I do that prayer? Yeah. This prayer? Do you do this prayer? Mm -hmm. How many times? One. Oh, you're supposed to do twice, morning, evening. Okay. Uh, we added a new prayer. On study. Anybody seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Who says yes? Us. It has to hit, hit, hit. Oh, both of you seen that? Yeah, we just saw it now when we were doing the homework. But can you can you repeat it? Can you I bring it? I can read it off my phone. Can you bring it up? Yeah, sure. 
Vidi, do you know that? Vidi? You're mute, Vidi. Should we say it? Etsy, you got it? Yeah. Yeah, can you please say, say? Everybody, please listen. Close your eyes. I am determined to break all the barriers, obstacles, and obstructions that come to me in studying and understanding. Please tell your divine grace and break the veils on my vision and give me the be and give me that infinite inner strength to make my learning the best. Jay Sachidana. Jay Sachidana. Anybody, anybody know or can say what it means? Okay, let's see. I I don't see everybody, but let's see. What do you think this prayer um, means? When we're studying, we often come across things that we can't do, and this prayer is basically asking us to um kind of get rid of that, like making us like be able to understand everything. And also, when you study, it's, there's a very high chance you're gonna get distracted, like by something going on outside or something going on at home. And this prayer just helps you make sure you stay focused. Very good. And one thing, please remember, you have to heartily do it because you heartily know that you don't like a subject or you don't like a topic, right? You heartily know that. So, so heartily ask Dada Bhagwan to uh, take that veil away. So. You know, this prayer uh, started out with our 9 p.m. satsang. So, Dipakandi, please give a background uh, why or this development come and how this can be very, very beneficial to the children. Surely, yeah. Uh, you know, in our satsang, we keep talking, we uh, listen to various a uh, question that come from the kids and eventually uh, from all the responses and answers what we get from Aptaputras, somewhere they uh, have suggested certain thing that you should do this prayer, you do that prayer, do this, ask strength from Dada Bhagwan in this manner. So we consolidated all this and that's how the first prayer which uh, came out for the three goals of life that came up. And uh, now very recently in one of such uh, this topic came and uh, this prayer also we included because that's the thing which you have to do now. So every time you sit to study, uh, start studying, then you can always do this prayer as a, uh, what do you say? Uh, reinforcement. So when you study, you really understand and you are at your best. Jay Satchidanand. Even it doesn't matter how good you are in a subject, <clears throat> this will enhance your understanding. Hey, Namil, you have to do something with your, you will be too much noise. Namil? You need to do something with your microphone. Uh, and so really, <clears throat> it started out that some of the younger children had likes or dislikes for some subject, okay? And they thought that they're difficult. So this evolution come from that, that, uh, you know, and we have seen a very good result uh, with the, by doing prayer, how does it help your couple? How did it help you? Also, yeah, I'm looking for it. My physics was so dumb. Uh, after I uh, repeat this uh, prayer again and again, uh, that's why my physics uh, in this uh, times, I gave exams last two weeks. I got 30 out of 27 and 30 out of 25 in physics. Um, before uh, I do not pray or when, when I do not pray, I got 30 out of 15, 30 out of 17. 
So, mm -hmm. okay. So, so that that is a, that is why this evolution came about. So, Yashvi, you will need that in your uh, biology and chemistry or uh, advanced subjects when you're going to do it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, these two prayers are very, very important. You need to learn by heart. But this last prayer, I would put it always somewhere I can see. Of course, you have to memorize, but then you can read it slowly and ask a lot of blessings from the other Bhagavan. Yeah, people can do? No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> ah. okay. okay, so let's see how homework. Only two people did the homework. Uh, of course, credit go to London. It's all smiles up there. So what was the homework? It was uh, observe others' actions uh, and like analyze the cause and our reaction to the action. So that now looking at other people, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's your experience? So today in the morning, I and uh, Bhavya got into a fight. So like he kind of just stormed out of the living room and came into the last bedroom. So then I was just I was just sitting there. And Mama's like, um, what exactly happened? I'm like I don't know. He just got mad at me. So I just told him to you know stop being mad at me, and he just stomped her. And she just like, you need to understand that you know Papa's not there, so he's probably missing him. So I'm like, yeah, that's true. And I miss him. So I came inside and I told him. I was telling him that I understand that you're missing him, and so am I. But like, you need to you know he like. Papa left him as the man of like man in charge of the house. So he's, you know, all like, uh, you know, you have to listen to me and everything. So we have to follow him. But he's only seven, so we can't really do exactly what he says. So I was just telling him that, you know, when we are watching this and you start making noise, do you like, does Papa do it when we are watching? Does he go around jumping around here and there? He's like, no, then I'm like, you need to understand it. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry for shouting at you. Next time, like we'll, you know, work it out. And then yeah, that's, yes, that's how it went. Oh, very good. How about you, Hudson? Um, yesterday, Krishali and I went to this like, it's this theme park like place. It's called Kidzania, where little kids like her, you know, go around doing jobs that older people would do. Like, for example, writing newsletters and like cleaning windows and stuff like that. It's like very downsized for them. And I went with my mommy, my mommy to like, you know, go with her, go with her because she needed an adult, and I couldn't stay home alone for that long. Um, and over there, because there are loads and loads of people, you had to stand in lots of lines and I would like be standing with Ginny. Um, and she, like at one point, she got very frustrated in the line and like kind of just walked off to mummy. And um, I was wondering what, what, was, what was wrong because there, were, there wasn't much of an issue. Her time was in five minutes. And then like after a while, I understood that because she's very little, she can't, she's not, and she can't wait for that long. Um, and then like, I just went to her and consoled her saying it, the line the line is going to be done, it's nearly your turn. Yeah, that's it. Did you have to explain to her to be patient? And did I mean, make... I, did, I did say you've got to wait for some time because everyone needs a go. So there are children younger than you, but she didn't really listen. Oh, very good. How about you, Ashley? Did you fight with your brother or your mother? Yeah, I did. My brother. What happened? Did you analyze it or you just let it go in the air? No, it's like every time he comes into my room, I just like he just comes to annoy me. So I always say leave, like get out of my room. But then I like now I think about I'm going to college and I shouldn't like always say get out of my room and stuff. So I was like thinking about them and I like we got into this argument in the car one day. And like, we're just arguing for no reason. So then I was like, we need to stop arguing. Like instead we can just like be nice to each other. And he was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that if you do that. And so then we just like talked it out. And then, yeah. yeah. Did you analyze it? I mean, he like, the only reason he gets mad at me is because I also get mad at him. Like I'll yell at him for no reason. And so he'll yell at me for no reason. So it's like it just goes back and forth. That's typical. Yeah. Kush. 
What fight did you have with your father? Um, there was really no, there was not really any fight with my father. Yeah. Is what? There was not really any fight with my father. Why? You you obeying him all the time? You not, didn't watch. You won't didn't watch. You didn't watch TV at all. I watched TV. And he didn't yell at you. He just said, "Um, how long were you watching it?" And then he's like, "Okay, so like just repeat some work." And I did that. Okay. How about you, Viti? Did you have any interaction with your sister or your mother? No. Okay. Everybody is uh, quiet. How about you, Ankesh Kaka? Ankesh Kaka, did you have some? Uh, did you have some interaction with your employees? Uh. <laughs> Uh, nothing like that. I mean, last one week, so I'm not office or nothing. So, uh, topics which I want to call it. Topics, any but challenge about that, my uncle. When there is an interaction with other people, you yeah. try to analyze what happened or why it happened, why the other person did something to you. So that's why your all your employees working okay. Uh, yeah, there are some. There are some which are they have they have their own uh, perspective, but uh, sometimes it's you know I, I I feel that you know sometimes it's it's better to listen to them first before we say something to them. So if we, if you listen to them, then at least uh, you know post that whatever we say at least they 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 will understand something. But without listening them, if you dealing if you deal with them, then I don't think so. They want someone to listen to them first. That's what I understand. Oh, very good. Because we had examples before you came of Wetsy and Jesse. Same thing yeah. happened. Of course, something happened. Then afterward, they did some analysis and yep. reconciled it. So it's very good. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, nobody else. So Deepa Gandhi, now your turn. <laughs> to say what, what these people said. Okay, the, the, the way my temperament goes, many times I just blast on the face, but then I realized that, oh, that was wrong, so he's trying to say something, but finally everything gets settled out. And if it doesn't get settled out, then uh, I do pratikraman behind, I mean, after the situation is over, and because of that pratikraman, Finally, everything turns out to be very good. The best okay. thing, the best part of it is uh, when we meet the next time, that uh, backlash is not there. So that is very good. No, I didn't that, mean that. I wanted you to analyze all everybody's responses. No, in, in the sense, see, this is, everyone is learning. And everyone, because they are got exposed to such uh, certain times, you know, you're, you're also very adamant. You want to stick to your belief. So that time, actually, you know, what, I, what conclusion I have come across, I mean, I came to conclusion that finally, what is right or what is wrong is not important. What is important is your oneness should remain intact. And if that breaks, you must first work on that rather than working on right or wrong, who was right and who was wrong. Because then there is no solution. Your intellect will become real wild. You want to prove yourself that you were right. And the other person wants to prove himself or herself is right. Where are you going to end? Nowhere. So. Uh, you surrender yourself, you're right. And then see the best part, everything settles down and people forget what had happened. After all, these are just situations, they come and go. And uh, in that situation, whatever you had to suffer as part of your karma, that happened and that's the end of the story. They don't even remember, but how you deal, 
how you feel inside and how you judge the other person. That is where your connectivity, your oneness uh, remains, or if it is breaking, it will come back to normality, it will come back again. Yeah, but uh, younger people like uh, Kushali or Gavya, they remember, hey, my sister did this the other that, day. That, that is not your problem. You don't react to what had happened in the past, then eventually they will also forget. It will always remain in their mind. You don't have a control in anybody's mind on anybody's mind, but then when you deal without any prejudice, without any uh, holdup, then it will turn out to be good. So they will say, yesterday she behaved so badly with me, but today she is good. So maybe everything is okay. And when that happens consistently, repeatedly, then that effect won't remain. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and uh, Dipakananji, just one more thing, you know, like Bhavya, Kushali, I mean, that age, in the school also is happening like that way, you know, they they, they fight, they 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 fight, they argue, and the same thing they get at home. Okay, home, what happened? If Hitasvi says something, he will he will correlate that with his, his with his school incident. Okay, and then he he will, he will start saying that, but. Uh, as you say rightly, the oneness is, is one thing. Right and wrong is, is, a, is, a, is a different story. But if, if they correlate, they always uh, think that, you know, whatever happened in school, the same thing they will try to bear at home. But if we deal in a different way, then I'm sure they, they will not remember. They, that, that, that's where it should be. I mean, that is what I thought. It is very important. See, yeah. at the end of the day, you should be able to sit together and enjoy. If you go into that room yeah. and uh, keep blasting their mind, yeah. that's not right. No, it no, that's can, true. Which can happen, yeah. and it does happen certain times. Yeah. But forget about right and wrong and good and bad. Yeah, but that's true. That's true. Yeah, that is part of the life game, and it is going to come and go. Yeah. yeah. So what that's will true. remain is your oneness. That's true. That's true. And always, uh, uh, it's like. Uh, if you feel that, no, I don't want to talk with that person, you must first go and talk. If you cannot go and talk, call. But you must connect yourself and say, surrender, I am sorry. Okay, okay, don't do this next line. Don't repeat, don't ever repeat. Yes, I will do my best. That's all, everything settles there. I felt so bad. Yes, I know, but I'm very sorry about it. It should not have, it should never happen again. Okay, I'll definitely take care. That's it. That's true. Am I great, but most of the time, we want to prove our, our ourselves right. That what I did was right because you did this thing, this thing, this thing, and I did this. There's no end. It will only blast. We don't want that. I think I think you are right. I think it, that's happening with me and Hitasvi also. Sometimes we we talk about it. She she she'll try. She want to understand why I'm telling, why why I want her to do some things. We argue, but at the end, like you know, after two minutes, it will be like either I say okay, fine, let's I'll do it, or she will say Papa, okay, I'll I'll, I'll do it. So things happen, but uh, if I try to prove something that I think then it's, it's my mistake. I need to I need to put it in a right way, what I feel is. Apart from that, apart from that, I consider one aspect that if some elder is telling me to do something, then I don't argue. I believe that whatever uh, that elder is telling me to do something, it has some meaning, although I'm not able to understand it rightly. And because it is not my decision, but if I do, I succeed. It is his or her success, the elder's success. If I fail, then it is his failure or her failure. I don't take the burden. You understand? It's, it's just me. 
Yeah. If daddy if daddy tells you to do something and if you fail, it is his failure. And if you succeed, it is his success. Although he uh, gives you the benefit of the success, and he takes the uh, burden of the failure on him. That is his wisdom. You understand? But if you argue and all that, I believe it is a kind of disrespect. You don't. Uh, you like don't uh, uh, honor his decision or instruction. And that's not good. In in dealing and in uh, how you have to have that kind of courtesy dealing with your elders, because just imagine if Vobius sees you dealing like that with your father, he will also learn the same thing. And he is boy, so he'll go out of his head totally. And he's small, so he doesn't understand the things rightly. He will just see what is happening and imbibe. He, he is not able to understand or read between the lines what is going on, what is there in your mind, what is there in your heart, which you may be doing. That's why. Right. So that's it. Okay. Uh, Kush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, always, you always fight with Ruby and Mira? Um, mostly my Druvi. His what? Mostly Druvi. Mostly with Druvi, he fights. Why? Is she your, yeah. your older sister? No, younger. Younger sister, you don't fight. Younger fights with older. But right? see, he tells see, and they know. Younger always can fight. But then why, why are you fighting with her back? Just, well, sometimes huh? like she would make me angry, so then. If you can't tell, tell him what should be the reverse. Should not be the reverse. Hey, one, one thing is there. Hey, Druid, turn, turn your video on. Uh, you know, uh, what I feel, these fights uh, in their age is, doesn't have any meaning. It's just like those kittens, they fight. Those cubs, the lion cubs, how they fight. That, that It's all like that. So no, there's no seriousness in this. It is like they are just learning how yeah, to but live. Dipuka, yeah, okay. I, I agree with you, but... Uh, uh, you know, with the gnan, the understanding, that's like uh, Kushi and Vidi. They used to five, five, fight five times a day before. Now, since so long, yeah, a, but a month or two, she has only, there's only one fight. Yeah. No, how, how, but what, what is Kushi's, uh, Vidi's age? What is her age? Bolo? 17. 17. 17 means what, you know? And what is Kush? What is your age? I'm, I'm turning 12. So right now I'm 11. And uh, how, how, how old is Dhruvi? She's 10. Do you understand? Certain level of wisdom, and especially girls, when they cross 13, 14, they, they, are, they are out of their head like They understand many things. That level of understanding is also very high. Yeah, but I think uh, you're right, but I think with Okush and Ruby coming, maybe they can listen to all this and then... Oh, yeah, but then it's going to happen. It's happening yeah. gradually. So, let's see, and it says we have to wait for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and see, the difference is big between the Bhavya and uh, Hitasvi and uh, Kushali and Hetsi. Very big difference. Like they babysit them. What is that? Correct. Babysitters. Yeah, they are almost like their, uh, their mom. I'm going to tell and, Kushali they're, they're to tell Hetsi good. mommy. No, no, but I tell you, they are doing very good. Oh, yeah. They are doing really, very good. I have seen that. Yes. No, you are right, you're right Deepak Ananji. They, they both yes. are doing very good. Very what good. you want, parents cannot do, it is yeah. oh, yeah. can do very easily. 
definitely. And, and, and you know, at times, uh, Kushali and uh, Bhavya will listen to the, their sisters and not dad and mom. Definitely. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, we will dwell on now the first code of conduct. And then, you know, we always look at uh, Ahamdubha, ego based on the body. So we want to discuss a focus on from mind, how we, uh, you know, from our mind, how much we disturb the other's ego. So, Deepak, I talk about a little bit so we can do the homework for next week. Yeah, one thing is that very common. Uh, we come across situations and uh, our minds, okay, the science of life, what happens? We have five senses, you know, which are they? Touch, yeah. taste, scent, sight, and listening. That is the progression where any individual evolves from one sense to two, two cents, three cents, four cents, and five cents. And the first thing that any of these five senses pick the information, our mind gets initiated. You start getting taught in that regard. Immediately after the mind your reflective consciousness starts showing realistic pictures of that thought. And then intellect will analyze between the thought and the possibility, reality, picture of reflective consciousness and make a decision. Decision is made by intellect. And once the decision is made, the ego simply I'll say blindly follows the decision made by the intellect and things happen. Example, you feel thirsty at this moment and the bottle is not there with you. The water bottle is not there with you. So with your sense, the touch sense in your tummy sense that you are thirsty or maybe in the throat you feel thirsty. You get a thought that, oh, I want to drink water. Now reflective consciousness, what do you call as chit? will show that, oh, it is there in the kitchen. The water ball is there in the kitchen. So now such is going on. So intellect will now interact. The intellect got the information, you are thirsty, and the realistic picture is, it is there in the kitchen. Uh, the intellect evaluates and that no, the satsang, the satsang, the satsang is going on. Uh, we can drink water after five, 10 minutes. So, the intellect has made this decision and made quite a logical and rational decision that satsang is going on, we don't want to miss. In another two, three minutes, it's going to end. So the ego will follow the intellect decision. You will continue listening to the satsang. Did you understand? Did you all understand? Yeah. This yeah. is how every time such a thing happens. You get information from the five senses, the mind, uh, start showing uh, thoughts. Uh, your reflective in consciousness shows realistic pictures. The, what is the, what is possibility? Intellect evaluates, make a decision. Ego follows. Then, depending upon that decision, you come across happiness or suffering. And that's the end of the story. After that, the intellect comes and the complication. But this is the basic thing that happens every time. Like Kushali saw that there's a place between two, my sister and my friend. So she just jumped in and sat there. Jai Satyana Kushali. Right? So this is how it works. So now what is happening, we are saying, in any of your life situations, that mom tells you something, daddy tells you something, your sister or brother tells you something, then those negative thoughts can come up. When we say those negative thoughts that come up, those are the beginning of your verbal dealing or behavioral dealing with the other person. So 
when the thought itself is negative your verbal dealing will be negative your interaction will be negative so that is why you are going to hurt the ego of the other person you all understand so this is where it starts starts in your mind and if you become alert and vigilant and at the mind level itself you settle and uh, balance it out then it will not get expressed in your speech or action right so this is what uh, with that what ready that i saying observe at what with all who's i mean when you deal with others what all things pop up in your mind and keep a note of that that kushali did something and you start getting why thought why is she disturbing me now and so and so although she is such a nice sister good sister obedient sister always helping time yeah. but sometimes she gets mad but no she is good so you can make her understand you understand that's how you have to correct yourself handle but keep note of that then you will know that this is how it is happening and then you will know how to correct that okay jay sachidanand okay we okay. got the homework that's it that's it no could you repeat this Could you repeat the homework? Okay, you come into interaction with Bhavya, Mama, Daddy on phone now, uh, with uh, HC maybe uh, directly or through phone and Kushali and Auntie, Hetal okay. Auntie, or Dwarkesh uh, uncle, correct? So in 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 these people's interaction, certain times, not every time, uh, you are happy with what they say. So that negative thought that come up. you keep note of that so you can say like uh, for uh, out of the 10 times that they dealt with you two times you were not very happy what they said so that is where you are about to hurt their ego because you are going to deal with them in a negative way did you understand yeah. wherever you are happy wherever you are comfortable there's no problem you're not going to hurt you'll just follow them or accept them what they say right Yeah, Jay Sachidanand. Jay Sachidanand, our time is up. So, Kushali, can you do three mantra for us? We'll follow you. Okay. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Vitra Gai. Namo Arjuna. पग नीचे मुख दो पग नीचे Namo Namo Loe Sawasana Namo Eso Panchanamukkaro Eso Eso Panchanamukkaro Mangala Mangala Namcha Sawesi Param Hawaii Mangalam. Param Hawaii Mangalam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand. Thank you, Kushi Kushali. Jai Satchidanand. Jai Satchidanand.